love coming here. The atmosphere is amazing, the food's amazing. I think it's a great place to hang out, great ambiance, a lot of great people, great service, and great menu. Just laid back and easy. A Blind Dog is a Celtic pub. We wanted to have a, a true Celtic place a place where people could kind of walk in, everyone knows who they are, and they can really feel at ease. This is definitely our favorite restaurant in Town Brook Haven. So I live upstairs, and coming down here just feels like home. I love the bartenders. They will cheer you up after a bad day. They're gonna pour you a strong drink. They're gonna give you exactly what you want to eat. It's just a good time. The Town Brook Haven is a little bit of its own environment down here. Once you're here, you stay here. I can go to the gym. I can go to all my favorite restaurants. We love living here. Uh, we call it the bubble. We're a neighborhood bar. We have the majority of our clientele right here above us and around us. Irish pubs are known for beer and whiskey, so I'm going the whiskey route right now. I got old fashioned on my shirt. I got old fashioned in my hand. It's a match made in heaven. We've got an awesome scotch selection, man. We've got your Islay scotches. We've got the Highland scotches. We've got a great variety. We've got 22 taps in the restaurant, but we do a lot of your traditional stuff like the Guinness, and black and tan. Then we've got your IPAs. We've got the sours. Our focus was on pouring the purest and best Guinness that was possible to get in the state of Georgia. I do drink Guinness quite often. If I can get here early enough for the uh, Premier League games, that's typically the drink of choice. Guinness is supposed to be poured four degrees colder than American beer. It has a special pour, a two-part pour, that takes two minutes, and we try to adhere to that. We actually ran a whole separate set of lines underground that keeps the beer at a perfect 42 degrees from the time it leaves the keg until the time it hits the tap. It's all meant to be authentic. So you walk into our pubs, you don't see plastic, you don't see neon, you see wood, you feel the years, you feel the age. You see brass, you see copper, you see wrought iron. I've been to Ireland, I went to Dublin, I toured a bunch of the Irish pubs. I feel like I'm back in Ireland, which is why I like it here. We went and harvested and foraged for a lot of the antiques in the doors locally. One of our owners had a huge collection of stuff that he had been collecting throughout the years. It's incredible. You walk in the door and you feel like you're outside. Every room has its own personality. There's multiple levels. It's, you sit somewhere new every time. There's about eight or 10 items on our menu that are, are real Celtic items. We do those the way they're supposed to be done. We cook our corned beef in house every day. Our shepherd's pie, which is made with lamb, it's the actual pieces of lamb shoulder. We do scotch eggs, for example. So whoever would have thought a hard-boiled egg wrapped in sausage, battered and deep fried would be good, but it's awesome. The best thing on the menu. Our kitchen's 99% scratch. We make almost everything ourselves except for one dressing. We make our own croutons. We make our own tater tots. We hand punch our own french fries. I like the short rib quesadilla. It's my favorite appetizer. My favorite is pot roast. Slow braised overnight in red wine, served on top fresh made mashed potatoes, and top it off with crispy onions fries spot like every time. Short rib quesadilla is killer and the Galway steak sandwich, love them. The meatloaf sandwich is amazing. Fried pickles, Tabasco ranch, set. We get our bangers locally made. They're huge, they're juicy. Key to a good fish and chips, two things. First, gotta be the batter, gotta have some beer in it, it's gotta be hot, gotta be crispy, and the chips have to be right. Our beer batter has Smittix in it, which is one of those nice Irish staple beers. We hand punch our fries. They're fresh, they're not frozen. Food's great. You really can't go wrong. When you're having a good time, when you've had a couple, maybe a couple too many harps, you get the buffalo chicken tater tots. We make our own homemade tater tots. Braised chicken, toss that with some buffalo sauce, lay it over the tater tots. Jack and cheddar cheese, bacon bits, chives, right up in the melter. Nice, toasty, golden brown. It'll get you where you need to be. The food's great. Every time we come here, it's like a, it's a great meal. But what keeps bringing us back are these guys behind me. If you haven't been here, you have to come. These guys are the best.